I am Xavier, reporting to you from a location that I've never used in my videos before. I am currently at Alcanshan Beach at British Bay Coastal Natal, which is about 16 miles or 25 kilometers away from Papangeni. That's a 30 minute drive, depending on how fast you drive. Today's topic is all about my culture, which is a rather interesting one, with having six subtopics under it. My religion, the cuisines I eat, languages I speak, values I follow, and the knowledge that I've obtained about my country and its history. Before we get into the video, I would like you to please like, comment, and subscribe. And when you're done with that, come follow me. background and my race and also the different religions and cultures my parents are a part of, one that I mainly follow and am a part of is Christianity. At the end of the day, I really don't care what religion you're a part of or who you believe in. Because as long as we have good morals and we are generally good people, we are the same. As you've noticed, South Africa is a very diverse country, having many tongues, many religions and many different races of people. Uh, for example, right behind this broken down church, there is a temple. Here are a few pictures of me next to the temple and the temple itself. Because of the different cultures there are in South Africa, there are over hundreds of different cuisines. But I'm go only going to speak about two. There is the fat cook, or in Zulu, Igwin. It's just a bowl of dough, fried, and you can fill it with many things, consisting of poloni, spiced mints, cheese, or even apricot jam. And then there's also the bunny chow. Now don't worry, the bunny chow does not consist of any rabbits or bunnies. It's just a hollowed out loaf of white bread where you can fill it with curry and potatoes. South Africa has 11 official languages. Their names are Spedi, Sesotho, Setswana, Siswati, Itonga, Chivenda, Afrikaans, English, Isindebele, Istosa, and Isizulu. I'm only able to speak four of them. And I'm only to speak of I'm only able to speak Afrikaans, English, Isizulu, and a bit of Istosa, but I'm still learning. There are many different types of values, but I'm only going to discuss two. Number one, character values. Character values are the universal values that you need to exist as a good human being. Examples of character values are commitment, loyalty, a positive attitude, and respect. Number two, personal values. Personal values are values that help you define what you want out of life and will assist you in being happy and fulfilled. They're basically guiding principles of your life. Examples of personal values are family life, popularity, health, and appearance. Over my lifespan, I've obtained a large amount of information and knowledge about my country. Uh, here is one. There was a great Zulu king named Shaga Gassenzangkona, also known as Shaga Zulu. He was the king of the Zulu Kingdom from 1816 to 1828. He was one of the most influential monarchs of the Zulu Kingdom, responsible for reorganizing the Zulu military into a formidable force. Him and his army took over many regions and chiefdoms. He had a well-trained army of around 40,000 soldiers. Unfortunately, his mental illness threatened to destroy the Zulu tribe. Before he could do so, his two half-brothers murdered him. Shagas and the Zulu's history inspired the creation of Shagaland, a living museum and cultural tourist destination. If it wasn't for COVID-19 and some places closing down, I'd be at this wonderful place, sharing my experiences with you guys. But for now, just enjoy the pictures because I'm sure next year it'll be open and we'll be able to go there. 
and South African fact is, these big hunks of reinforced concrete are called dolos, and they are a South African invention. Great numbers of them provide protection against the erosive force of waves from a body of water. They weigh about 80 tons and they must have costed a lot. So you could say that these dolos costed a lot of dollars. Okay, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> they are huge. Unfortunately, that is it for today, everyone. But be sure to tune in next time for when the Globe I.O uploads a new video.